Have you ever felt like investing in the stock market is like going to the casino and placing all your chips on red and just seeing what happens? Well, there could be a very specific reason for that and it's called sequence risk. And that's what we're gonna be covering in today's video. So stick around. My name is Spencer Ford, Certified Financial Planner with Conservative Financial Solutions. And today I wanna to go over a concept with you called sequence risk that we run into in the financial industry. And the best way for me to do that is just to go over an example with you. So right here, what we have is an individual retiring with a million dollars at the beginning of 2000, and they wanna take out $40,000 a year with some inflation. Now, you can't invest directly in the S&P 500, but I'm just gonna use those returns as an example. So these are the returns of the S&P 500 over the last 22 years. So what you can see is we start in 2000 and you really start off with some negative years. You're taking that $40,000 out plus inflation a year and you get to the end of that 22 year period. So the end of 2021, you've taken out a total of $1,221,000 and there's still $380,000 left in the portfolio. Now, I'm not particularly convinced that who's ever on this ride is staying for the ride because if we get to the end of 2008 here, there's $376,000 left in the portfolio. You're probably not fe feeling very confident that it can continue to make this payment for you. So you may not have held on to basically get to the end of that 22 year period. But what's interesting though, is if we take those same returns for the S&P 500 and we just put them in reverse order, that's it, same exact returns, reverse order, that where the good years come first and the bad years come last. Same million dollars, same distributions. We get to the end of, 20, of, of the year, well, in our, in our case, 2000 here going backwards, but we get the end of that 22 year period, you've still taken out $1,221,000. You averaged 9.13%, and just so you can see, the average over here was 9.1% three percent as well so same average return same numbers just in a different order and there's 3.2 million dollars left over okay so that's just the difference of when the returns are going to come and the reason why this is important or important concept to realize is because when you go to retire i don't know and you don't know are we gonna start with good years first or are we gonna start with bad years first? And you need to be prepared for that. Your portfolio needs to be prepared for that. That's why when we build portfolios with our families and sit down and have a conversation with them, we talk about, okay, what does it look like if the bad years come first? What kind of vehicle can we help put in place for you that you can still take distributions and not compound losses when they come? You need to have a, a safe bucket of money to turn to. So again, I just wanted to go over a quick example of you with, with you of sequence risk. And one, one additional thing before we close here, I'll actually show you, this is the same chart. So this is a bad years coming first, good years coming first. This is with no distributions. So if we look at it, there's $4.9 million left over. $4.9 million left over. And that makes sense because we're not taking any withdrawals. So we're not compounding losses in the years that there are bad years. And so again, that just highlights the point too, where when you're taking distributions from your portfolio, it makes all the difference in the world. You need to be aware of what sequence risk is. You need to have a strategy for overcoming that if you happen to retire in a time period when the bad years are coming first. And I'm not doom and gloom, but if we look at where we've been historically, and you obviously know what's going on this year in the market, but we're coming off with some really good years. So the likelihood of us seeing some type of contraction happening in the near future is probably more likely than not. So again, just wanted to share this concept with you. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Spencer Ford, again, Certified Financial Planner with Conservative Financial Solutions, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.